It's called Tay-Sex. What is Tay-Sex and well, why would they be worried about it? Well, Tay-Sex disease is a severe neurodegenerative disorder. So babies are born looking normal, but over the next few months they start deteriorating neurologically and it's a fatal disease. Eventually, these How, how will soon die. do they die? They die within like a year or two. A year or two. Yeah. And they have trouble with muscles and they the brain. They basically lose all their milestones and their vision and there is no treatment for it and no cure for it. It's an enzyme deficiency. It's called hexosaminidase. And about, it's a recessive disease. About 1 in 25 Ashkenazi Jewish people are carriers. That's a, it's, a, gene. it's a recessive? It is recessive. So the, it, both parents have to carry it? Both parents have to carry it. And um, are you it's getting one people in 25. Come, you have people come to you before they get married to check things out before they get together? Yes, and we have actually nine Jewish genetic diseases now. So if you don't like your daughter's future husband, check him out and you say, oh, we've got a problem. Here. There's different uh, ways that screening is done. There's a program called Doreshorm in um, actually Orthodox Jewish communities where basically as teenagers, individuals are screened. And so they have this database of what, who carries. And when a match is proposed for one of those individuals... You mean love isn't involved in here anymore? No love. When the matchmaker... Well, if you marry a few years, the love goes in. So, so the man, the matchmaker says, you know, this is not compatible. He won't even tell you what you carry, but he'll tell them... Oh, they don't even know themselves? They don't know which, what gene they carry, but they're told that it's not a good match. If they're both carrying the same genetic... So they say this is not a good, good deal. It's not a good deal, and then they, he'll find you someone else who's not a carrier, maybe. And, and if a kid's born and they didn't do all the tests, what could they do... When a baby is born to pick up Tay-Sex? Well, there isn't any screening at birth. So if a baby is, I think it's extremely unusual today in our area that a, an Ashkenazi Jewish individual is not screened for Tay-Sex. I think at some level they're all picked up. But um, you would have to do a blood test for an enzyme. What's the, name, what's the name of that enzyme? The enzyme is hexosaminidase. But Rather than check the baby, I would check the parents to see if they're really carriers, even at any time. And you, only if they're both carriers would we be concerned about the baby. And then the baby can have the blood test. How, how, what's the, how many uh, Tay-Sachs are there born every year? Are that many? It's very rare now. It's less and less because we're screening? Because of the screening. But so now, we're trying to put you out of business by not having problems. Well, actually, today, uh, don't be too surprised. Sometimes we do see Tay-Sachs in couples that are of mixed ethnic background now. Like one part you don't Jewish, have to be an Ashkenazi one, Jew? No. Uh, one in 200 non-Ashkenazi Jewish people could be carriers. So it's much rarer versus one in 25. But if we see Tay-Sachs today, it's more often to, to a couple who's of mixed age.